Hello. We're going to do the uh, Leo. We'll redo the Leo. I did a Leo, but I don't know what happened to it. It got lost, so we'll redo the Leo for now. Spirit, uh, would you give us the energy to the Leo? So let us uh, let me know what uh, is coming down the pipe for them. Show us what's uh, coming for our Leo, so what they should be aware of. Holy Spirit. What do we got in uh, sadness? Could be getting over a dick in a dick addiction or you're gonna have to let go of something that uh, no longer serves you. See that castle in the background there? Um, do you leave these? You're gonna go over there and you're gonna, there's a bridge over there too. As you can see, you gotta go across this uh, river, which represents, I think, emotions, the water, emotions. But, uh, Something tough to give up, maybe like a, like I say, an addiction or something. Could be something that uh, you have to let go of that you really don't want to, but it's in your best interest and you kind of you know sacrifice, I guess, sacrifice. Yeah. In the, um, for Leo's in the um, <coughs> heart of the matter position, we're going to go for what's in the challenge position for our Leo's. Leo's, Leo's, what's in the challenge position for our Leo spirit? Holy Spirit, oh! Knight of Wands, challenge position is um, kind of being adventurous, I guess, running running to and fro. Hmm. Kind of being, uh, maybe a bit of, so this could be a player card too. Usually if it's like this though, it's the, really, it's the postman, which is like the ultimate player. Like, Got to bang everybody on the block, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, if the if the stories of the postman, I don't. I'm not saying all postmen are like that. I don't know. My grandfather was a postman. I never got to ask him actually. So I really would have liked to actually hear some of his postman stories to see if they if the the legends are true. You know what I mean? He'd be quite, he should have wrote a book. You know what I mean? But I don't know. Maybe they have to take a oath of secrecy when you. When you um, become a master of the postal services, and these days you probably have to wear protection. <laughs> like I would just, I would just, I'd put that out there. Maybe in his day it was okay, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, what's up with that? I put it. Uh, I put it. Um, I made it postman by accident. There. <laughs> Everybody just wants to see the postman. Sun in the subconscious, so at least this addiction you're getting over, or whatever that is, that you have to let go of. It could be a person, place thing. is isn't bothering you too much if you got sunshine in the uh, subconscious, so that's good. That's right. Be a ruler of your own temple. Don't let, uh, that's good. Every thought into captivity. Let's go over here. Let's go. What have we got in the past for our Leos? Knight of Pentacles, slowest knight in the deck, but usually reliable when he's this way. When he's this way, he's not reliable. He's like, like I say, if he's ordering your pizza, you know what, you might as well just go and get it yourself because he's going to eat half the fucking thing and he's probably not even going to deliver it. Like I say, it's amazing if he even brings it. Brings it. You know what I mean? So. But upright, he is the most reliable. He always gets where he's going. He'll always get... He may take 10 years to get there, but he will get there. 
King of Wands reversed is like uh, the Burger King, like uh, like uh, what's his name, Steve's Love Terrell likes to say, I like the way he, he, he describes it as the Burger King, gotta have it his way, but <coughs> <coughs> like I think he, he's kind of like a, I don't know, he's just like kind of arrogant, kind of no know it all, but he is kind of flashy. He's, he's a flashy motherfucker. You know what I mean, he's the type of guy that like, like he can't just uh, if he has a problem with somebody, he can't just like say, "Oh, I got a problem with you." He's got to walk up to you and slap you with a fucking leather glove and challenge you to a duel and like you know what I mean, like in front of everybody in the place. And you know what I mean, just a real asshole type of guy. So that's what I get from his card anyway. He's got lizards hanging out. He anyway when he hangs out with him is a lizard thing. Not, not, not that there's anything wrong with lizards. I just kind of like lizards. I all animals, I just. Uh, I choose a salamander. Okay. Two cups. Could be a love offer. Um, most likely a love offer, but it could be just some kind of union. Could be a friend. Could be... Um, Women's um, pen pals from prison, you know what I mean? Just remember, they're gonna get out one day. <laughs> so, just a little warning there. Okay, what do we got in the influence for Leo? Sarah. The circle of life, feeling a little guarded. Battle wounded soldier there, and he's ready for anything. Look at him, he's like, Where are these fuckers? I know they're coming over to hell anytime now. So, there's been some action in the past there. Leo's you know, oh, expecting some action. I'm getting ready to guard your um, castle there, which is, I mean, if trouble's coming, it's best to be ready for it. I don't know your situation, so. Oh, hopes and fears, spirit for Leo's. Hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. At the um, moon, the hopes. Maybe you want to keep something hidden. Maybe something is hidden. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you want to keep something hidden. Maybe you want to keep hidden. How paranoid you are. Like, like maybe you just. Uh, maybe no, nobody's really coming. Maybe you just smoked some really bomb ass weed, and all of a sudden you're just like. They're coming, they're coming. <laughs> He's like, who's coming? I don't know. It must be some good weed. <sighs> you got some in your fears, you got juggling. Juggling. So that's your fears, juggling. Juggling. You don't want to have to, you want to focus on one thing, you don't want to be, because uh, Leos are like uh, leaders, right? They don't want to focus on one thing. They don't want to focus on one thing at a time. Because they're the leaders. They gotta perfect that shit. They, gotta, they do gotta. They gotta kind of multitask everything though, because they're in charge of more than one person usually. Right? If you're a leader, so. uh, I guess that kind of. Okay, so an environment we have manifesting with the uh, magician. Yeah, everything that you have that you need. To manifest what you want, you already have. You have all the tools. You have the pentacles. You have the swords. You have the cups. You have the wands. Mm -hmm. And in the outcome, you have the ten of pentacles and some meditation. So maybe meditating on your ten, ten of pentacles here. So cha-ching, cha-ching, that's generational wealth. Meditating on it, just maybe taking five, you know, and just like, mm, having a soldier's little, you know, siesta, soldier's siesta, take a break from the wall of sticks there you're building to keep out the, <laughs> the imaginary weed goblins or whatever. And then, uh, what do we have? An underlying energy spirit. We have, oh, ouch, heartbreak, and holy shit, somebody really is coming. You got some sticks there, look. 
Outbreak. Oh, shit, it wasn't the story. I had here. Oh, shit. Well. Bow for me. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. So you got yeah, in the underlying energy. You got uh, dropping some, dropping some uh, stick blows on your haters, and heartbreak. Maybe you're like your girlfriend walked by right when you're beating the shit out of all these haters, and she just got in there by accident. And you whacked her in the head. And you're like, oh no, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't mean to do that. Why are you gonna get in the middle of my haters? And then all of a sudden, you don't have a girlfriend anymore, so you got heartbreak. Ah, it sucks, man. It sucks. Especially if she's uh, the type that's going to call the cops and not, like, uh, see the humor in the whole situation. <sighs> hey, Leo, so that's all I got for you guys. Okay, here's what we got after 